Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is the Sound Blaster XG6. This is a high res DAC for PC. It also works with Nintendo Switch, PS4, Xbox One, and potentially other devices too. And we're using this interesting addition to our setup. It is obviously a Sound Blaster product, meaning you get a good quality Sound Blaster sound. But it also supports up to 32 bits, 384 kHz high res audio, which is insanely high. Obviously, it's going to vary depending on your source. But what it is, is a digital to analog converter that allows you to plug in a 3.5mm headset into this amp and then into your PC to improve the sound and change up what's already being delivered. And I thought it was worth testing this out as I happen to have a couple of different 3.5mm headsets in the house but I've just recently been using the Logitech G Pro X which I've done an unboxing review of separately and so that's the 3.5mm headset and I thought it might be worth sticking that on this DAC to see how it performed and actually made some changes and I'll show you at the end the difference it makes because not only does it support high-res audio, virtual surround sound and a number of other sound blaster settings include scout mode, various equalizer modes and it also has Dolby audio in it as well but it also boosts the potential decibels can deliver up to 130 decibels so what it does is it makes headsets incredibly loud and it is ridiculously loud as such too now to plug it into your pc you simply need to use the micro usb cable that saw me take out there it also comes with an optical cable now if you're using it on console you're meant to plug the micro usb cable into a power socket like a phone brick or something for example and use that to then power the DAC and then you plug the optical cable in to get the sound out. On PC you can just plug in the micro USB cable and then it gets the juice and the audio from your PC and powers it in through there and puts it out into your headset. You can see it comes with a lot of different instructions. It also works with Sound Blaster's software that I'll link to in the description and it's a fairly simple affair. Out of the box you can just plug it in, press the various buttons on it and get going with your audio delivery and as I said it makes such a difference to the volume of the headset. I found I was running the G Pro X on about 8 out of 100 in terms of the volume levels and it was insanely loud still then. If you want to go louder you can just go crazy loud on it. And the G Pro X is fairly loud anyway but this thing makes it a lot louder. So if you've got a pair of headphones or a headset that's 3.5mm powered and you think it's not loud enough this DAC will make a big difference to that. Obviously loudness doesn't necessarily equal quality however the sound from this DAC is actually very good too. As I said it has numerous settings on it including virtual surround sound. It has a scout mode on it too. Here you can see at the front you have the option to plug in a headset either a headset with a mic or headphones on one side and then mic on the other side. You have a nice easy access volume wheel there that you can actually push in to mute it as well. It has a scout mode option, Sound Blaster X audio and then you can switch the gain up and down and in the back you'll see where you plug in the micro USB cable and the line in with the optical cables. It's a pretty nicely constructed package. You know, underneath, for example, it has a rubberized finish on it so it won't slip around on the desk. It doesn't necessarily feel terribly expensive in the hand. It's quite lightweight. It feels maybe like it might be a bit hollow inside. However, it looks pretty nice. It also, on that Sound Blaster X logo, you have a bit of RGB lighting on there that you can customize in the software. Nothing too garish and it kind of has a sort of a brushed aluminium finish to it as well. It is pretty understated too, it doesn't, it's not terribly large as you can probably tell from this video and you'll see it compared to the headset at the end too. So it's a nice addition to the desk that you can just, I just stuck it under my monitor and then you can just plug the headset or headphones into the front really easily. Apologies for my voice, I've got a bit of a cold at the moment. And you'll note on the right hand side there's also an LED light to let you know when your Dolby Audio is turned on. 
and you can easily adjust all these settings within the Sound Blaster software and you can play around with that and tune it to your preference and I must say I did fiddle around with the settings a bit trying to get it to work right however there are a lot of different options and you can make it really good so here we go you're going to plug in, in the Logitech G Pro X just 3.5 mil connection so not using the G Pro X's DAC that you'd normally use on PC because I wanted to see what the difference would be like and it's if you'd still get the good virtual surround sound from it because with the G Pro X you can get DTS Headphone X2 and with this you're getting Dolby Audio and then Sound Blaster's tuned virtual surround sound simple micro USB connection to your PC and then plug it in the other end so it's a really easy setup dead easy setup process and I actually used it in two different ways because the G Pro X comes with a splitter cable so you can split 3.5 mil to both headphones and mic or you can just put it straight in and it works in both ways well too and it passes through the mic audio just fine so you can still record as you would normally with it so basically what you're just doing is taking the G Pro X and enhancing the audio with the additional purchase so if you've got a 3.5 mil headset as I said that you find that isn't quite loud enough then the G6 might well be a good purchase now here I'm showing the difference in the audio levels. So I've got a sound level meter, I've got the G Pro X plugged in directly to my PC with a 3.5mm connection set on maximum volume and just a song playing in the background and you can see it hits around 90 decibels as top, maybe 98 and it gets uh, reasonably loud and that's maxed out but I wanted to see the difference between that and I knew the difference from experience but I want to be able to show you with official numbers as I said earlier in the video I found that this was really loud you use the DAC and you're suddenly having like maximum volume when you're eating only got it on like level 8 to 10 on the PC and it's just ridiculously loud too loud in fact most of the time but it is a brilliant way to increase the audio levels on your headset with a little extra expenditure. Also the addition of those extra sound settings mean you can customize the sound in a number of different ways. I'll show you the software in a minute too. So now plugging in the DAC, plug and play affair, automatically recognized by Windows and turn straight over and you can already hear the difference, never mind see it with a level meter. And that sound's coming straight out of the headphones being picked up on the camera and you can see now up 113, around 110, so you're getting like 20 or 30 more decibels out of it and that's not even maxed out. Obviously this music isn't hitting 130 decibels constantly but it shows you just the difference and it's remarkably loud i'm very very impressed with the difference there and here you can see a look at the sound blaster connect software which includes a number of different adjustment options on the dashboard you can go through all sorts of different equalizer settings you'll notice options for dolby voice clarity scout mode you also have the acoustic engine where you can dive into that and deep into the sound settings and adjust things like surround sound, crystallizer effect, bass effects, smart volume, dialogue plus. You can see you have all sorts of options. Now I must say do find I had to play around with these a lot to get it right and it's a bit of a faff but when you do find the right sound settings it is quite a rich experience and you do have a lot of flexibility with it you can also do other fun things which is a bit perhaps of a gimmick but you can do voice morph adjustments to change your voice to do other things you can also adjust noise reduction things like that and then as i said it has a little basic bit of rgb lighting and you can also change between 7.1 5.1 and stereo sound too so you have loads of different options there let me know in the comments if you have any questions thanks for watching this has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, or hilarious. Be sure to subscribe and check out these other videos, as well as taking a look in the description for the links and information you might find useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or anything you'd like to see extra about this. And have a great life.